guys, we live in a really, really sad timeline. Nintendo tried to slide this under the table at, at midnight, at, at 12.02 in the morning. Sadly, starting in April of 2024, there's not gonna be any more online for 3DS and Wii U games. As they say, early 2024, April, we don't know what that date is, but, but, but I mean, hey Nintendo, if you wanna wait till April 11th, that's all I could do, one more time for my birthday, that'd be pretty cool. What this means though is, um, uh, if you want your salt spray rigs, your bluefin depots, you wanna use bubbler, <laughs> Um, you better go and do that now, because unfortunately, uh, time is limited. This game was down for quite a few months to try and fix the game. It was a humongous security issue going on with the camera and everything in the Wii U gamepad, and they took the games down to fix them. Nintendo made it very clear that when the game came back up, they wouldn't take it down again unless something bad happened. But it seems like they've changed their mind, which is very, very sad for all of us. So. Go play Splatoon 1 if you have it. I don't know. I don't know if purchasing a Wii U right now is very worthwhile, but it's all about value, you know? You have at least six months to be able to use your Wii U. You got October, November, December, January, February. I love, I love words. I love words. <laughs> and March. And maybe, maybe some of April. If six months can get you hundreds of hours in Splatoon 1, which I feel like for most people, most people would rather play Splatoon 3, I don't know, then maybe it's worth the purchase. I put a lot of hours into Splatoon 1 and I really enjoyed the game and I like going back to it and now I know, um, oops, I guess I gotta, I, I guess I really gotta, I gotta stream that really quick before, uh, before it, you know, goes kablibbo kablammo. After this, it means that we'll only have Splatoon 2 and Splatoon 3 though. And if these games really are going to only make it like nine years, which I, I doubt, I doubt that the that Splatoon 2 is going to really fall under the same fate because Splatoon 2, as of right now, is approaching, but isn't yet at what, what, seven years old? The thing is that Splatoon 1 came out near the very end of the Wii U era. Like Splatoon 1 only got like a year and change of updates and then bang, oops, oops, Splatoon 2 is out. This game came out 2015, Splatoon 2 out two years later. Now the thing though is about Splatoon 3, right? Splatoon 3 right now we know it's only a year old, but it's at like what we assume to be the end of the Switch's lifespan. Everyone is assuming, you can go online and right now on Twitter, <laughs> people are literally searching up Switch 2 because everyone's talking about the Wii U going boom and they're like, oh, well, you know, maybe it would make sense for Nintendo to start taking down their old console services if the Switch 2 is right around the corner, which is honestly sensible. But if you think about this, wouldn't that mean that Splatoon 3 might have a relatively short lifespan comparatively as well? I think that Splatoon 2 is going to be the game that gets the most years, like online, right? Like if they take down everything from the Switch at the same time and like, 2030 or something? I don't want to think about that. You know, Splatoon 3, 2030. <laughs> I'm joking, Nintendo. You don't have to do it. That would mean that Splatoon 2 would easily get like 12, 13 years of life before it goes kaboom. And it would make Splatoon 3, at that time at least, actually the game that gets least time. Because if it came out in, you know, 2022 and it dies in 2030, that's less time than Splatoon 1. That's crazy. Oh, that's crazy to think about. I don't want to think about that anymore. As someone who started my competitive career during Splatoon 1, albeit near the very end of the game, back when I used to play <laughs> just just Jet Squelter and Dual Squelter and I was on top of the world. Hoo -hoo. So much has changed now. Looty is just getting started now in Splatoon 3. They have like, what, 600 teams in Looty this time? I could tell you it was, it was nowhere near that during Splatoon 1, early Splatoon 2 days. The average skill level of like individuals in Looty divs is so much higher than it used to be. As a quick rundown, essentially the whole thing about Looty is that a bunch of people signed up for a big old league and lasts a number of weeks. People are separated into groups based on their relative skill and they duke it out one set a week until you have the best teams left and they play in the playoffs, like within each division. You're not gonna have like a team that's like jackpot, for example, <laughs> playing against the team 
that formed like two months ago. No, they're, they're not gonna do that in Looney. But like, it's wild to think about how much has changed since the late days of competitive Splatoon 1. The number of teams that go to events, the number of events that are out there trying to hook up a Wii U to play at LAN? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> the UI of Splatoon 1 is so back in the day. When you look at like how the PBs work, it's just this flat screen. It's not even spectators, but it's kind of fun to go back and look at the jank, to see how easy it was to change your gear using tools. To see how simple the ranking system was back then. To think about how short the Splatfests were. I mean, it was like this in Splatoon 2 as well, but a lot of people forget that Splatfests used to only be one day. Imagine if we still had only one day Splatfests in Splatoon 3. I, I feel like Splatoon 3, something that's done really, really well, is it's made sure that Splatfests themselves are at least two days long, so people have a chance to play it. I, I don't remember how much Splatfest I played during Splatoon 1. I used to watch a lot of videos afterward of people playing Splatoon 1 Splatfest. Splatoon 3 tries really hard to capture that vibe from Splatoon 1. Because something Splatoon 3 does really, really well is it said, hey, 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 okay. Splatoon 2, very passive at times. Let's go ahead and make another Splatoon where you actually really are rewarded for being aggressive. You have things like excluding Crab Tank, since Crab Tank kind of forces people to like hide away a lot. A lot of the other specials in this game really do make you want to be aggressive. You take cooler and it causes actually interesting fights to happen in this game. You have Zooka. You can pop other people around the corner. I mean, is Zooka a little too strong right now? Yeah. Yeah, but it still encourages that aggressive type of gameplay. You have Kraken, while watered down, it still does its job of forcing people to move, of pushing in, of being a menace, and that's fun. You have Bubbler in Splatoon 1, which kind of did a similar thing sometimes, where Bubbler would allow people to walk on in and be able to fight people, but Bubbler was too strong. That's why you had Ink Armor in Splatoon 2, but Ink Armor did the opposite of what Bubbler did in Splatoon 1. People would rush in with Bubbler, but a lot of people used armor more defensively. People weren't like armoring until near the end very reliably, where they would armor and be like, okay, yeah, now let's push with the armor. A lot of people would armor to protect themselves and protect their teammates. And while there's nothing wrong with defensive play, it just wasn't offensive enough consistently. And it'll be nice to see that change as Splatoon 3 continues, as long as like our armor doesn't come back. They wouldn't do that, right? <laughs> But yeah, that's all for me. It's really wild just to think about that. There's a lot of other things that will obviously blow up too. You've got like the Super Smash Brothers on the Wii U and 3DS. You get Animal Crossing. How long has Animal Crossing New Leaf been allowed to live? I feel like that game's been around forever. That's wild to think about people not being able to play Animal Crossing together. I mean, the Switch Animal Crossing is, is right there, but I feel like the 3DS one really captured a lot of people's hearts with all the big changes it had. I mean, it's Splatoon 1 isn't like Animal Crossing in that way, but Splatoon 1 was the original. You go back to it every once in a while because it's nice to think about where we started. Splatoon 3 is going to be the closest to that Splatoon 1 feel. And maybe Nintendo will keep changing and updating this game to make it feel more and more like Splatoon 1. I mean, hey, they... They gave us the Splatoon 1 Plaza, and so we can think about it sometimes. That was their evil ploy all along. This is a joke, by the way. That's 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 not their ploy. That, that, that just makes them money because people said, ooh, nostalgia. So get your nostalgia while you can. Thanks for listening to me ramble about this. It's just so sad to think about. I'll have to play it. Feel free to subscribe for more shenanigans in the future while I'll actually play the game and not just throw a bunch of Splatoon 1 clips on the screen. That way we can just remember the game while it's still around. Have a good one, and see you later.